my brothers and sisters. And here we are again showcasing law enforcement tyrants and their rooted corruption. So what happens to fired police officers? Well, if you're a current subscriber to my channel, you've probably seen the Blue Line Mafia in action, and you'll be commenting about the next door county rehiring them with open arms. But if you've never watched any of my videos, or just recently stopped licking boots, or recently had those boots stomping on your face, let me enlighten you with a grim reality that you probably weren't expecting. And the justice system fails again. Check it out. Council members. In the small Thurston County city of Tenino, I'd like to introduce Officer Christopher Backus. City leaders recently welcomed a new face. Hi. Uh, the new Tenino officer, Christopher Backus, is a former Tukwila police officer. His personnel files show after a successful three year career there, he resigned. I had a leave of absence from law enforcement for a few years. I'm just happy to be here and getting back into what I actually love to do. Thank so. you for joining. At this public Thanks. kickoff for his new job, there's something Backus isn't talking about. His troubled history as a cop and the extreme lengths he and his former employer took to keep it a secret. This is dash cam video from a 2015 police call. The first of several where bosses found Bacchus was out of line. A 911 call came in from this Tukwila McDonald saying a group of black teenagers were quote, destroying things. Police photos show part of a milkshake on the wall. More on the floor. It's McDonald's, that's where all kids hang out. Marcus Topps was there with his friends. He was 18 at the time. I saw a police officer come in, one lead in the charge. I don't know. She went straight for them. Officer Backus was the first one in. Records show, without asking questions. Get back, get back. He tackled and punched this 15-year-old boy named Marquez Riddle. We just seen them get pounded on. We don't even know why. I'm and... seeing her walking to the bathroom. Police audio caught Marquez telling Officer Backus, he was the wrong guy. Damn, got blood on my nose and shit over. What did I do? Because you didn't listen to what I told you. All right, but look, what did I do? Why, why am I arrested? Why am I in handcuffs? Because I got to call it. You guys are destroying the place. That was, what the hell? You didn't see the run? I'll call the manager. He'll tell you that it's not me. My what the hell? The night ended with Marquez in the back of a cop car with a bloody nose and charges of obstructing, attempted assault, and resisting arrest. Officer makes mistake. I go to juvie for it. In Bacchus' police report, he justified his actions, writing, I feared Marquez was going to assault me. But when the city opened an internal probe, the officer's story fell apart. Investigators found not only did the cop grab the wrong person and use excessive force, but Bacchus falsified reports that his version was a clear contradiction of what officials saw on surveillance video. There's nothing that can justify his actions at all. All charges against Marquez were dismissed. Bacchus's problems didn't end at this McDonald's. In the span of only five months the next year, there were three more incidents that led his bosses to conclude his excessive force had become a pattern. Disciplinary records show at a Tukwila bus stop in 2016, Bacchus used a taser on a man who wasn't actively resisting arrest. And outside this bowling alley, records show he failed to report he shoved a teen headfirst into a planter and threatened to use his taser. Eight days later, investigators say Bacchus inappropriately tased a drunk homeless man. Using a taser is, is a pretty elevated uh, use of force. And so that that was his initial reaction to people who were not resisting or who were passively resisting is really concerning. The Tukwila Police Department had enough. In 2017, they fired Officer Backus. So what should have happened from here? Police accountability experts would tell you that disciplinary history should have followed Backus for the rest of his career. So how did he end up with a clean slate with paperwork showing he quit on his own? This is the document that made it happen a 2018 settlement agreement with Tukwila PD. In exchange for Bacchus's resignation, the city took all their findings of misconduct and reversed them. And they threw out from his personnel file all traces of those records, including the fact that he got fired. Then you pay him out as well? <sighs> After wiping his record clean, Tukwila paid Officer Bacchus $75,000 to leave the department and remain quiet under a confidentiality clause. In my judgment, that which is inappropriate. Daryl Stevens is a former police chief and a national expert in police leadership. Everything the police do is subject to being reviewed by someone. On the phone, Backus declined an interview. He told us his legal deal with Tukwila doesn't allow it. 
Aquila officials declined to explain their decision to settle. What upsets you about this settlement agreement? They're settling out with the wrong people. <laughs> you guys messed up, so you guys should be trying to crawl over broken glass with the people you affected. Officer makes mistake. I go to juvie for it. Remember Marquez Riddle from McDonald's? Right back in that moment, I was furious. We found him, living in Nevada, now 23 years old. Yeah, so sad. It's been eight years. This is the first time he saw the video of himself as a teenager in the back of the cop car. It's really traumatizing. Like, we told him the cop who punched and arrested him that night struck a deal. And just to know how I felt in that moment. I was so mad I probably couldn't even cry in that moment. Yeah. Stuff was heavy. In the wake of the city's silence, police accountability experts say this is most likely what happened. Police departments will turn to settlements to avoid scandal, union fights, and lawsuits. When that's on the table, that's a really kind of expensive and time-consuming process for the police department. So oftentimes they're going to say, what's the easiest way we can get rid of this officer? Good afternoon, please. Hi, Christopher Backus. Back in Tenina. Hi, Christopher Backus. I'm so sorry. Last Hi, month, Backus swore in as a full-time Tenino police officer. Officer Backus, do you have anything you'd like to say? It was a long road to get back into law enforcement, and so, you know, I'm very appreciative of the chief, and uh, it's nice getting back into to doing what you love instead of just doing a job to be a job. Congratulations. Whoa. Thank you. And welcome to Tenino. <laughs> Tenino leaders didn't respond when we asked them if they knew about Backus's past when they hired him. But there's one more thing about Tuckwilla. This back Bacchus incident was not a one-off. We found two other deals where they agreed to wipe and change disciplinary records for officers with a troubled past.